Hello travel fans, we're just going to check out the top 10 travel vloggers for 2021. In the current situation, I'm sure a lot of you are not able to travel and you're on YouTube just searching for new vloggers and new different destinations. You've all got your own favourites, I'm sure. Give me a comment below, guys. Who's your favourite travel vlogger? Do you agree with my recommendations? And can you recommend some new guys for me to check out? Hit the comments below, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video. I'd appreciate that. So we're just going to do part one today. Number 10 down to number 5. Number 10 is Carol Watson Travel Documentaries. This is an excellent channel. It's been going a number of years now. And Carol travels around the world. It's very authentic. It doesn't stay just in fancy hotels. It'll give you some background details on the location. It'll speak to the locals. It's a really, really good travel vlog that I recommend. You can see that his most popular video is backpacking around the Philippines for a few weeks. 1.4 million views. He also goes around Morocco, Egypt, many places including Africa and Japan. He does a lot of solo travel. So it's a really, really excellent vlog. I recommend it. I'm a big fan of Mount Everest and he's got one in Mount Everest but I think the scenery is just stunning. Have a wee look for yourself. where we are and what we're walking through. It's just incredible. It's right about some of the biggest in the world. Pretty cool, eh? Check that one out. Cara Watson, he goes to a lot of other mainstream destinations as well. Um, you can see if you just scroll through all these videos, he's been to so many different countries in the world. There'll be something there that you will enjoy, a place maybe you've been to as well. So that's Carol Watson Travel Documentaries. Number 9 guys, somebody I'm sure that you've heard of on YouTube, Harold Walder. Now Harold is great friends with another good YouTube travel vlog that I'm sure you've heard of, Bald and Bankrupt. So Ben who runs Bald and Bankrupt YouTube channel actually got started because he was travelling about with Harold. Not sure if you know that and Harold recommended start your own channel bald. So he's now a very popular YouTuber as well. The two of them work together sometimes, but most of the time Harold is just going round the world on his own. You can see that he's got a lot of popular videos, different destinations. It's really, again, quite authentic. There's not any special effects or editing, not really much like that. All he's got is his camera, he's walking around, he's talking to locals, he's sometimes working with locals. He's visiting different places off the beaten track. Some places are pretty dangerous to be honest with you as well. He's quite fearless and he's got good charisma. You'll enjoy his vlogs. I highly recommend that. You can see in his videos, he's got 17 million views on one video here where he shows you inside a capsule hotel in Vietnam. All that is is just a very small hotel that's $25 and he's probably surprised himself that's became so popular. But he does a lot of different things. He'll do some reviews of food and hotels and he'll just generally wander around the streets talking to people. Excellent vlog. Highly recommend it. Check out one of his videos here. He goes and checks a $5 hotel versus a $100 hotel in Nepal. Hotel room. I am able to seek out. If I can find one for $5, I'm going to stay there. So I'm up here on the $100 one. I'm staying on the on the top floor. I'm gonna go down in a second. Um, it's my first time up here. I just realized that the hotel next to me have a swimming pool. So yeah, I kind of wish I stayed there. Okay, so he goes on to show you the $5 hotel room, which as you can imagine, is not as nice as $100. But it's a great contrast. It just shows you what you can get in different destinations. So that's Harold Walder and I highly recommend subscribe to that one. Guys, give the video a like if, you, if you've enjoyed these vlogs so far. Remember in the comments, let me know about your favourite travel vlogs as well. So the next one we're going to go to is going to be number 8. And this one's more of a specialist vlog. It just does really one destination, mainly. It does do some different ones. One of my favourite places, Las Vegas. And the vlog is called Pompsey. I followed this one really from the start when it only had a couple of thousand subscribers and he's now got over 73,000. 
I suspect in the next couple of years he will go up to half a million to a million subscribers. That's how popular his vlog will become. He's he's a video maker as well, so he's not really just a guy walking about with a camera and a gimbal. He's a professional videographer and you can tell that in his edits and his videos are very, very professional. He'll go around Las Vegas mainly and he'll show you different hotels. You can see obviously by his videos. He's got some videos that have got over a million views. He goes into Circus Circus in Las Vegas, shows you a couple of different things. He does go to some slightly different destinations. One of his most popular ones, he was in the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas and he got kicked out because he was filming. There was more to the story as well and it turns out when he became really popular, the hotel reached out to him and offered to put him up in their $15,000 a night hotel suite so he would do a review on that. So quite interesting, when he was very small, just starting out, they weren't that bothered but then when he became big, the hotels realised this guy's got a lot of reach, he's got a lot of Vegas fans but as I said, he has got different videos as well. He used to work for a famous marketer on YouTube that you probably heard of, Gary V. Give me a comment below guys if you follow that that YouTube channel. It's not a travel one but it's one more about business. So he's got a lot of influence in that and he's film making. He does live streams on the Las Vegas Strip as well. Let's check out one of his videos. This is a Cosmopolitan $15,000 a night penthouse that he was invited to. The room comes with an on-call butler, Tommy, my cousin who's in the, in the background right now. He counted up over 40 seats, including two giant couches. So you can easily see like 50 different people in here. You can throw a giant party in here. There's a full kitchen. There's numerous little tablets that control the audio and the visuals, the TVs and stuff like that. There's that fireplace behind me. There's the pool table. And then there's also a massage table where you can just call up a masseuse to come up and give you a massage. And then another thing he told me is that the toiletries provided in this suite are designer high quality. Okay, so there's just one of Pompsy's videos where he does a wee tour around a $15,000 a night suite at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. So if you're into Las Vegas really, I recommend that one. It's entertaining. He's very, very good at video editing and he's got a certain style presenting that's really good. Watch out for this guy in the future. I think he's going to be one of the biggest YouTubers really in the world regarding travel. He's probably going to go to different destinations in the future. So that's Pompsy, check that one out. And we'll go to number seven, which is one of my favourites. Now I'm biased here, I have to admit guys. Being a Liverpool football club fan, Simon Wilson is one of my favourite channels. Again, if you follow Harold Walder and Baldwin Bankrupt, you'll probably know that Simon's friends with these guys as well. So at number seven, we've got Simon Wilson. Simon is a wee bit different from some of the other ones. He's not just a travel vlogger. He'll do specialist videos where he sneaks in to various events. So he sneaked in, I think, to some big music awards. He sneaked into a Floyd Mayweather fight. He got down to the ring where they were selling seats for $100,000 and he was right there as well. And he travels around different destinations. He arrives in the destinations with no money and he'll just hook up with various people and he'll walk into various hotels, etc. Try and see if he can use their facilities. It's really, really interesting. So I'm a big fan of this vlog. Um, when I do the next video, this might go up to number one or number two because I always come back to it. One of his favourite videos is when he went to the Champions League final to watch Liverpool on a £40 car and he travelled through Europe and that. So check that one out. 3.4 million views. And here's just a wee excerpt of him sneaking into the Floyd Mayweather fight. After all that, I'm sat on the ring itself. Okay, 
So that was him sneaking in to the Floyd Mayweather fight and he was sitting actually on the ring. So he does a lot of different challenges. Challenge with some of his friends here. First one to get to Monaco with no money, gets $5,000, etc. He's on a $2 cruise ship here. A lot of different ones. It's a great vlog. Hit the subscribe button at Simon Wilson and he's at number 7 today. So number 6 is Cara and Nate. You'll find on YouTube, there's a lot of popular YouTube travel vloggers, couples traveling around the world together. And this is one that I quite like. Cara and Nate, they travel around so many different countries. I think they've traveled to over 100 countries. And you can see their videos are very popular. They've got over 2 million subscribers, which is amazing. And they've got a video here that's got over 8 million views when they slept on the side of a mountain in Peru. Again, notice a theme here from Harold Baldur's capsule hotels. People seem to love these videos. They're just in a wee tiny room and a capsule. It's over 7 million. So they travel around different countries. They're on the train there. They fly sometimes. I think sometimes they're on boats. So they do a lot of different things. And just check out the start of the video with the sleep on the side of a mountain. Pretty cool, eh? Not for me that one. I would not sleep on the side of a mountain, but it looks amazing. So they've got some great videos, guys. I recommend you subscribe to that one. You can just filter the videos. You'll find one at least in a destination that you like. They've got a lot of different stuff going on there, so I recommend that one. So that's number six, Cara and Nate. And number five, we have Gabrielle Traveller, which has got over 462,000 subscribers. Now this one is really back to basics. He's he's just a traveller going round the world on a budget and there's not really any big fancy editing, really, really expensive photography and cameras. It's really, really good because he's just literally walking round with what he's got and he's showing you different places in the world, how expensive they are, some lovely sites, how the locals are, and you can see from these videos here. He goes to a variety of different destinations. So his most popular one, where he's going to be pool party in the Greek islands, over 5 million views. And then he's got one where he's just basically walking down the Moulin Rouge in Paris, over 2.8 million views. And he's got some various videos on different subjects and different continents throughout the world. He also gives you some tips on how you can travel on a budget. It's... It's a great travel vlog. It's one that's stripped right back to basics and I think you'll love it. It's called Gabrielle Traveller. So I recommend you subscribe to that one as well, guys. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. I've got my own travel channel, but it's just a beginner's channel. Only subscribe to it if you're interested in Tenerife videos. You'll see the link below the video as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give me some comments below. Can you recommend some travel vloggers for me to watch in 2021 and beyond? Here's hoping we'll be travelling soon. i really appreciate it if you watch the video right to the end. And we'll see you in the next video for part two of the top 10 travel vloggers.